Hi, I'm Gigi. I am the owner of Gigi's House of Frills. Gigi's House of Frills is a lingerie boutique in Toronto, Canada. We also have a online boutique, of course, um, and our focus is, as you may have guessed, vintage and pinup style lingerie. Um, we carry several pinup lingerie brands, including what Katie did, of course, uh, a few other kind of uh, creative brands and local brands, um, as well as authentic vintage, which is what we're, we're really known for. What Katie did was actually a big inspiration, a big motivator even for opening the store. I had been a client of what Katie did for years before having the shop. And I thought I can't be the only person in Toronto who wants to try on bullet bras and garter belts. And luckily I was right. <laughs> um, Katie herself has a very inspiring story. And yeah, certainly big inspiration for opening my own boutique. Um, we have lots of what Katie did lingerie at Gigi's House Frills. We love them. We love their authenticity. Uh, we love the quality of the lingerie and we love working with them. They're a great company. One of the things we really love about what Katie did at Gigi's is how authentic their designs are. Um, and today I wanted to kind of talk about that and, and do some comparisons with some authentic vintage pieces. So, first I'm gonna do a little comparison of what Katie did item and a couple vintage pieces. So this is what Katie did's classic Glamour Nouveau waist cincher. Um, it starts from kind of just below the bust to the top of the hip bone. Uh, it's an amazing, powerful piece of shapewear. It's by far our most popular piece of shapewear at Gigi's. Um, and I know it's a popular piece for what Katie did as well. If you're familiar with the brand, you probably already own this piece or you know about it. The Glamour Nouveau waist cincher does up down the front. Inside, you can see all of the spiral steel boning channels. There's also an additional waist tape, uh, which helps to give you a little bit of an extra cinch. And then there's the six garter straps uh, that are removable, making this piece incredibly versatile. Um, one of the reasons why it's so popular. I wanted to compare this piece today, I thought was really neat, is to this piece, first of all, which is from the 1930s. Um, it's from Finland. I actually bought a dead stock waist cincher collection from Fidland and have it shipped here to Canada. Um, so, of course, you can see the color similarity. Uh, the peachy color was very popular at that time. The second thing you might notice is the fabric difference. So what Katie did's piece has this beautiful satin panel and the rest is pretty much uh, power mesh, making it still very sturdy and powerful, but very, very comfortable to wear as well. Whereas this one, uh, the main material is a very stiff cotton. It's beautiful um, and it does the job very well, but it's, it's much stiffer and not as comfortable to wear, to be honest. Um, it does have a little bit of stretch at the sides. And then it also has the hook and eye uh, closure down the front, which is, is pretty unique for the time actually. It's not as common. Um, so I thought that was neat because they're very similar that way. You open it up and you see it also has all the boning channels and even has a little bit of waist tape. It has four garter straps, which was much more uh, typical of the time and they are not detachable. So the next waist cincher, is also from the Finland collection. This one is on our website, that's why it's got a little label there. And this one um, does up at the back, which was more typical of the time. This one dates to probably mid 1950s, late 1950s. Um, it's got a beautiful lace panel in the front and the rest is made out of a sturdy, uh, thicker kind of sheer nylon. Again, if we look inside, we see all of those boning channels, the waist tape, and it has the garter straps that are not removable, of course. So what I love is that, for instance, the 1950s piece, you'll find it on our web boutique, and you might fall in love with this piece, but it's, it's vintage, so it's one of a kind, um, and maybe it's not your size, 
but you can get the same look and certainly the same effect um, with this What Katie Did piece. And it comes in many sizes from 4 to 18, um, fitting a range of waist from about 23 to 37, I believe. And you'll get the same look, but you'll get, um, to be honest, an even more comfortable, more functional piece. Yeah, so that's pretty neat, like that. The second thing I wanted to show was a look. One of the things I'm known for here at Gigi's House of Frills is my mix and match looks. I love um, mix and matching uh, lingerie from different brands, but I really love uh, incorporating vintage pieces uh, with modern pieces and creating a look. And what Katie did makes that so easy to do because their pieces are so authentic looking, they look amazing with vintage. So for this look, this piece is a 1950s sling bra. It's gorgeous black lace. It's got the whirlpool stitching on the cup. Beautiful satin sling. The shape of this bra is stunning. It's like a soft bullet meets a balconette. Um, very, uh, it's very uh, late 50s Sophia Loren, if that makes sense. So for this, I chose to pair it with the Greta Knicker, which has the lace panel playing off the lace in the bra, a little pop of color. It's black, it's black, so it matches. For the belt, I chose the CC09 belt, which is one of my very favorite um, pieces from what Katie did. It's a 1940s reproduction. I've had 1940s garter belts in our collection that look very similar to this down to the exact kind of interesting and unique shape the side closure featuring just one row of hook and eyes very authentic the uh, stitching on the front panel again a very authentic detail um, what katie did of course um, upgraded it with a little bit of power mesh making it a little more comfortable to wear uh, they've also added a strap so a lot of people think that six straps is an authentic vintage detail. It's actually not. 1940s belt would have looked like that. It would have just had four straps. Um, so six uh, is really, it's an upgrade and it's an awesome upgrade. We all love having the six straps. It, it helps to keep your stockings up better as well as keeping your seams straight. I love that what Katie did takes an authentic vintage pattern and uh, just improves on it. To finish the look, I chose the Cuban heel stocking. Uh, they're the Glamour stockings. Um, they have stretch, unlike vintage, which doesn't have stretch, or full fashions, which don't have stretch. They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, um, but they're definitely different to wear um, and not for everybody, whereas stretch stockings are unbelievably comfortable. I love the Cuban heels because they have the square top this is all thicker, the foot and the heel is all thicker, so it pops a little more. I think it's a slightly more glamorous uh, heel, a more glamorous look. It's also a more authentic look. So the reason I love mix and match looks is because I really love recreating authentic pinup looks of the era. In modern pinup photography, it's all about matching sets, and I love that. It looks great. We all love it. It looks fabulous. But in vintage times, it, it was always mismatched. Um, I like to think that's probably because that's what was in the lingerie trunk at the claws that fit that particular model. So if you're looking to do a photo shoot, let's say, or, you know, just for yourself, recreate a very authentic vintage pinup look, taking some pieces from different sets that you have at home, uh, even better if you have an authentic vintage piece to put into the mix, um, put it together and it's going to look really great.